Hey, hey, y'all. We are back. It is your update crew from Rainier Avenue Radio Dot World broadcasting live from Memorial Stadium at uh, the Chief Self, <laughs> Chief Self Seahawks there and Cleveland go. Eagles yes. football game. And at halftime, Chief Self leads the Eagles, sadly, 28 to 0. I am Princess Robin. I'm here with T TC Hi. and Mac. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk to you a little bit uh, during this halftime. Um, TC, why don't you tell us about the internship program right, so, so we uh, make sure we get yeah. it. So the sports broadcast internship program uh, basically gives students the opportunity to be spotters, runners, and keep statistics. Students will also learn how to broadcast, how to write like journalists, produce shows, and photography along with audio and video production. Student interns will have the opportunity to be mentored by industry professionals. So if you're a high school student whose football team is part of the Metro League or you know someone who fits the qualifications, you can email me at tcbenton at seattleacademy.org. Again, at tc, the literal letters TNC, B-E-N-T-O-N at seattleacademy.org. All right, and y'all be sure to take advantage of this opportunity. It, we That's are right. quite the family here at Rainier Avenue Radio. We are your community radio station, and you too can be a part of this great effort. Yes, and our goal is to have someone from each school in the Metro League, right? Which is awesome. So come on and be a part. You can find out more on our website as well. The website? Yes. www.rainieravenueradio. Dot world. <laughs> Lots right. of great information yes. on that website, by the way. You can <laughs> listen to our uh, broadcast streaming live there. You can also check out the schedule of all of our very diverse programming. Um, we've got something for everyone. We sure do. Yes, everything from music to talk shows that are about politics, about things going on in the community, to sports shows. Yes, and if you are a sports fan, Fan, which you probably are if you're watching us right now and listening to us right now. Uh, we want to give a plug right now to our own Juan Cotto, who is the co-host of uh, NYC, and that's really cute, N-Y-C-S-E-A, right? N-Y-S-E-A, uh, to represent the, the two uh, places that the hosts are from. We've got Will Sanchez from New York, and Juan is from Seattle, so that's, that, right. that's clever, right? That's it really is clever. clever. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so check them out. <laughs> and then we have Metro Sports Weekly. Since you're watching us, you might be into all high school sports. You probably have some high school students in your life. And in Metro Sports Weekly, every Thursday, we go over all the different sports that are going on in high school. So tune into that every Thursday evening. Absolutely, absolutely. I want to take a quick second to uh, give a shout out uh, and thank our new sponsor for high school football broadcasts. That would be the Earshot Jazz Festival. They have their 30th, wait, is that right? I just saw it. Yeah, 30th annual jazz festival coming up. That will be held October 7th through November 4th. And you can find a link to that on our website, again, www.rainieravenueradio.world. I also want to thank uh, Deaf Chef Kitchen mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> for your yams, brother. Home cooking. Your yams, your chicken. Your I'm greens. People who I have like to the throw greens. It in there. That's yes. right. I'm not one of those. <laughs> it's well, encroachment. I love them. Encroachment. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for feeding us, keeping us, uh, keeping our bellies full yes. as we do these broadcasts each week from uh, the high school football games. That's right. And speaking of encroachment, that is our word of the week. Uh, Princess Robin is learning about football and she's learning a little more every game. That's and now right. Now her word of the week is encroachment. See how she does her eyebrows? That was really good. <laughs> Making that call. Yes. That is something about getting into somebody else's territory. That's getting, exactly right. Getting you know, into the other team's territory the, when you're not supposed to. Yes. Yeah. So I've heard some people say offsides or whatever. Yes, is that yes. the same thing? Yes, pretty much the okay, same Okay, so for thing, all yes. of you out there like me <laughs> who are, you know, you're just diving in because this is just so much fun, we're going to bring you a word of the week each week. Yes, That's our we commitment are. to you, right, Mac? Yes. Okay. We're going to have fun with that. You want to get in on this, TC? 
You know, I already have vocab for school. I don't know if I need any more. <laughs> TC is our brilliant uh, young member of our team. She is diligently here doing homework uh, at the football game. And while sports bar broadcasting and at the same And sporting, time, you know, yes. she, she does it all. Um, so, yeah. Shout out to you, TC. Thank you. That is championship multitasking is what that is. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, um, before the game started, Mac, we noticed something that we thought we might talk about. Um, when oh, the, we did. When they were doing the Pledge of Allegiance. That's right. There were a number of uh, folks on the Eagles uh, and even their cheerleading squad who took a knee. Um, yeah, majority of the Cleveland Eagles took majority. a knee and, and the cheerleaders. And uh, we uh, think that's awesome. These, uh, we think people should have the right to peacefully protest. And that's what this is about. And it's not about protesting the flag or the country. It's about protesting that not all people are treated fairly and the same in this country. And that's what they're standing for. Yeah. And, and I really right. respect um, young people making their own decisions and thinking critically too. about uh, the symbolism of everything. You know, yes. whichever side you land on, you know, it, it's important to know why you stand for sure or is. kneel for what, yeah. what you, you know, that you know why you take the stance that you take. So I noticed that Cleveland has the most players kneeling out of all the other teams that we've seen. Yeah, like for true. all the other teams, there's only been like maybe one or two players. And even for uh, the, or the Seahawks, they've only had, I don't even think I saw any of the players kneeling actually. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I, I did either. either. And yeah. so I saw that very common amongst mostly black teams, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good observation yeah. there. See, yeah. you're, you're a <laughs> Cracker Jack say, reporter. But I will say on the, um, on the Cleveland Eagles, uh, all the kids, almost all of them kneeled, yeah. you know, yeah, white and black players, so that was great. Um, and yeah, it is important for people to be able to exercise that right. And I also want to give kudos to the coaches and the staff at the school for allowing the players to do that and being supportive of that. The yeah. coaches even kneeled as well. Yeah, which is awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, this is uh, one of the topics that you might here talked about on one of the many broadcasts um, of, of the shows on Rainier Avenue Radio World. We, yes. um, as as Mac mentioned, we have a number of talk shows. Uh, we have music. Um, James Street, who is uh, our, one of our favorite producer people. I mean, yes. actually, I can't. I don't really know what box to put him in because he does everything for the radio station <laughs> um, including hosting a show yeah. after dark on Tuesdays at midnight mm. got it got it got it but, but speaking um, of shows I hear you have a show that I do. that's right that you can make a difference show so if you know somebody in the community that is making a difference send me a message you can do that through the website and I'll have them on the show all right well uh, I see we've got some guests coming over um, I'm going to give them a chance to uh, get into the box here with us. But uh, we have some of the Cleveland Eagle cheer squad coming over to chat with TC for a quick second. Um, thanks for coming up, y'all. Come on over. You staying warm out there? <laughs> By the way, the, the weather has changed. It is definitely raining and chilly. So, uh, yeah. yeah. We, we've gotten all the seasons today. I'm going to step aside so you guys can fit into the frame. Okay, so how about you guys just introduce yourself, like say your name and everything like that. I'm Faith. <laughs> I'm Rena. I'm Malaysia. I'm Rebecca. I'm Megan. So what got you guys into cheerleading? Um, I started off as a dancer, and then it came time to, well, my mom felt like I should be involved in school stuff, and I thought cheer was the best way to integrate myself into school activities. Oh, well, I joined the team for sisterhood and dance. I do tap. Um, oh, sorry. I do tap, and I do modern and stuff like that, and so I like to see when I was my freshman year how they were dancing. The bond they had, so that made me want to do it. <clears throat> um, I was the captain of my cheer team in fifth grade, but I also have been dancing since I was three. And when I was in fifth grade, I was like, this is kind of fun, but I don't really know if I want to do it. And so I tried out um, for Cleveland's cheer team, 
and I just I fell in love all over again. So I just knew that this was what I was meant to do. So cute. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically, in my freshman year, I actually did want to join the cheer team, but I decided to focus on my studies and you know get good grades in freshman year. But I was at the assemblies, I was yelling, and they got me in the yearbook picture with my whole mouth open, and I'm just like. So I decided to try out for cheer and I made it and I was so excited. Honestly, just cheering, it brings me so much joy and I can yell and get loud and cheer for something that matters, you know, like the team, the home team. And it, it just, it's an amazing feeling, honestly. Yeah. Uh, when I was a freshman, I always went to those basketball games and I always see the cheerleaders. I was like, oh, they're so cool. I wish I could be one of them. So I went out, I tried out and I was so excited to be a part of these beautiful girls. And yeah, I love cheering. Thanks, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys keep up, you know, your spirits like during these long football games? <clears throat> um, <laughs> we use each other's energy. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, we're, we're a team and also a family. And we vibe off of each other to keep each other going. <laughs> okay. I was going to say like, you know, like sometimes we look at each other and we do jumps or kicks. Like we're going to be say, we're going to do five kicks or we're going to do a right jump or uh, the left one, and so yeah, that's just how we keep warm too. <laughs> or you know, we look at our coaches, and they're saying stuff with us, and then we start laughing, <laughs> and then you know, uh, like or we start looking at each other and making jokes to keep us up and warm, you know. <laughs> um, sometimes some of us would be like down, and like we'd be like, man, I don't know if we're gonna get this touchdown, and then we'll see like some of our other cheer sisters. And they'll be super happy, and they're like, we got this. Like, it's okay. You know, they're right there. All they need to do is just run a little bit, and, you know, and they got it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, like, you're right. Or, like, they'll do, like, a cheer. It's, like, our favorite cheer, and, like, we get, like, energetic again. Um, yeah, but we're always super su uh, supportive of each other, and we always have our team to look out for, and there's always the other cheer squad that we have a little pettiness with, so, <laughs> you know, it just gives us a little, like, <coughs> we're here, yeah, okay, better. just ego, ego territory. All right, well, thank you guys so much for talking yeah, with us. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, so we just got a few seconds here left um, before the halftime is over. We're going to return to the Chief Self uh, Seahawks versus the Cleveland Eagles game. Um, right now, the score is 28-0. We are happy to be here with you, Rainier Avenue Radio dot world. Catch us again, your update team, next time. And uh, we're going to turn it back to our play-by-play -play and color commentary folk. And, and thank you, Mac and TC. Princess Robin here, signing out. <laughs>